Hey, it's Robert. Welcome to our channel again. And throughout this video, I'll be taking you through a database question such that by the end of the video, you'll be able to answer almost every question as far as database is concerned. In my video, I shall be using Microsoft Access as my database software. Let's start. So, first question, create a new database, save it on a removable storage medium and name it as school database. So to create a new uh, database, we have to go to new and then Microsoft Access. This is school database. And then we open it again. This is all we have. And then question two is create a table in the school database with the following details. So let us divide our screen to two. We have this one here. So, uh, create table design and then the first field is admission number this is ADM dash number data type is text in access we usually have short text and the field size is 10 we go just here and in general we edit this one to be 10 the other one is name is more letters name it is also text okay if you use a result what the message is if you are okay so this is the name we also have signing this is a short text and the name the field size of name is 10 or oh, this 15 sorry same applies to short uh, sun name, it is also 15. Uh, the other one applies to uh, for sun name, we have telephone number, town number. This is a number, so in access, we usually have number here it is, and this number is a long integer is set here. After that, we have date of birth. And this date of birth it is a date slash time and it is a medium date format here this is a medium date then after that we have the other thing is fee paid fee paid is currency the type of currency it is also currency here is the right then we have foreigner is this person a foreigner and the data type is yes or no and the format is yes or no and that's all we have then we are told make the ADM number field as the primary key so we make the ADM number as the primary key right click and set as primary key so here we can see um, my admission number field size is 10 name field size is 15 surname 15 telephone number is a long integer date of birth is a medium date fee paid is currency and foreigner yes or no that's what we need and as far our question is concerned we are told save the table as students table so to save the table, right click and make close. Do you want to save the changes? Yes. Yes. Students table. Then click OK. And we'll be done with our table. We can open it. Here it is a table, is it? So let us see what follows here. So open the students table and enter the following records. All of these records. So again, I'm going to enter records in this table. Open and start entering the record. Like the first student is 4567, and this person is John Minor. Uh, this is Muiru, the sign name. Muiru. Telephone number is 55 dash 67 Okay, the value entered does not match the number data type so for this case 
can see the error message. To solve this problem, let us go to our design to view. Design view. Okay. I have to delete this one here. I have to delete it and then go back to design view of the table and check the problem. The problem is in telephone number. It is a number and it cannot accept this format. Therefore, we are going to, to check the something we call the format of this number. So, as you can see the number, we have two digits, a dash followed by five digits. So, that's what we are going to do here. Telephone number, go to format. Uh, is it in format? No, it is in input mask, sorry. Input mask. We are interfere with the input mask. And how should it be? It is two digits followed by a dash and other five digits. That is it. Now let us go back to our table again. So if it was um where is our table? So it was let us start again. It was two digits, that is five, five, then a dash. Already the dash is already here. Then sixty-seven uh, 543, 543. Yeah, that's how you solve the problem. Then date of birth is 19. Uh, dash 09. Uh, dash 1990. It will appear like this because we have already set the date format as medium date. So that's why it is different from this case here. Then fee paid, we have been told, it is 25,000. One, two, three. And if this person is a foreigner, no, you leave it unchecked. But if it is a foreigner, you check it. So that is how you go about this question of feeding data in the table. Maybe you may be wondering why I chose to set the input mask of telephone number to be zeros like this one here. Two zeros, dash, and five zeros. So in case you don't understand why, can you confirm from this table, the table I have attached to this video right now. So let's check the next question. We are supposed to add this person in the list. And we are going to add this person direct. And this person is, um, let us see the name. This is 4120. You see, you see, you see the for the record, new record. This is 4120. And the person is Rebecca Kalewa. The other name is Ben. And this is 442424. Date of birth is 13th, 10, 19, is it 1900? It's amazing. 1900, okay, 27,000. And this person is not a foreigner. So the record comes to be the last, yet in the question, we're supposed to set it to be the fourth record. I want someone to tell me how to do it through the comment section. I'll appreciate. However, if it is in Excel, I think it is very easy to do so, but in Access, it is more technical. So I'll appreciate. If you show me how to do it in the comment section, how to set this record to be here. Otherwise, let us continue the other questions. Um, delete mail in Denya record from the database file. This is testing about how to delete files because some people don't know how to delete. Like for example, if you are told to delete this file, a person may just click here and start pressing the backspace key and you may end up not getting the right are deleting the record so to delete this record what you do is right click all of it and then delete record that's how you delete a record in database so the next question is sort the table in ascending order by surname here, here is the surname you are supposed to sort the table in ascending order just click it and it is ascending a to z yes like that in ascending order 
Then after that, move the date of birth and telephone fields to telephone number two so that date of birth field is now directly after the surname. So date of birth should be directly after the surname field. Where is it? Here it is. So what you do is just click it and now drag here. So date of birth has already come here direct after the surname and then after that date of birth and finally telephone number that's how you do it drag and drop the next question is on um, change the field size of surname to 20 where is our surname here is it so surname the field size of surname was 15 so we're supposed to change it to 20 then we save go back to the field so there is nothing recognizable here but that is how you change the field size now from there we create a form with all fields on the students table so to create a form is an easier way uh, what you do is go to create form wizard and we need that a form from students table so you add all of these fields and you click next there's a column a form do you have any instruction about the form name the form as student entries okay there's nothing like that it is students entries student entries here is the form and what else do we need to do insert and bound control name balance to show the fee balances of all students given that the total fee is that 5000 and fee balance is equal to total fee minus fee paid so here is our form we are supposed to modify this form such that we have another field year balance how we open our form in design view design view and add another add another field here so this is a control this is a, a text box we are going to name it as okay here is the label of the text box this is balance then after the balance here is the unbound control let us open the view form in form view to see how it will look like here is it but the it is blank so to make it automatically calculate the balance again in design view you have to click the box and then after that uh, double click or else instead of double clicking what you do is click it and go back to property sheet then here we have events we have data we have format we want something to happen on this box here therefore go to data control source where should it get the source click the three buttons here and you'll get an expression build and to get it we know it is 35,000 one two three minus the fee paid we have the fee paid yes that's how you get the balance then you click ok you go back to form view and we shall get this person all the school 8000 the other person 15000 the other one 6000 10000 12000 15000 and 9000 so that is how you create a calculated control uh, for calculation through form design so the next question is just click any on the form and go to background email the image and then browse you can get pictures from uh, home desktop so we have to be creative to think about how can we make this text to be visible all of them let us select all of them you can make them visible by maybe bolding them it doesn't work change the font color you can also maybe underline them and even increase the phone number phone way to be 
Okay, this is the extra large, 16. Like that. So let us see how it will look like here in form view. So here is it. Here is our form. That's how it will look like. Let us check the next question. Uh, create a report based on student's table showing the field's name, surname, and telephone number, and then name the report as telephone list. It's a report wizard, and it should contain name, okay, which details have been told name and surname and telephone number. Name, surname, and telephone number. Then this report should be named as what is the name of the telephone list? Telephone list. Then you click finish. So the next question is create query one showing all fields whose students uh, students whose surname is Ben. Therefore create query wizard. And we are going to get data from student table. And the name of the query is query one. And this is for people or students whose surname is Ben, like Rebecca, Pira, Amos, and Peter Rick. So open the query in design view. And under surname, just type in criteria row. Under criteria row, we just type Ben. After typing Ben, run your query and you'll be done with our, with our question. Close all. Question 2 is, create query 2 showing all fields of two students born after 1991. Do the same thing, create query wizard and we're going to get our data from student table. We need all of this and this query should be query 2. And we are going to get all of them, but we want those, those who are born after 1991. Therefore, design view and criteria row, check criteria, where criteria intersects with date of birth is here. And you just type the statement greater than December. Uh, is it December? Okay, the 31st, December 1991. Let's run our query. And we shall get only three students who are born 1992, 94, and also 1993. So here is the expression. The computer has modified it. Greater than ash 31st, 12 of 1991 ash. But you can just type greater than the date itself and you'll get the right uh, people. So the other question is create query 3 showing only the student's name, student surname, and student's date of birth. So this is simple. Save. We need a query. Query wizard from table student. And what we need is student's name, student's surname. So this is student's name, student's surname. What else? And student's date of birth. And student's date of birth. And what else? Okay, it's all about that. And after that, we can just save it as query 3. After saving as query 3, here it is. Do you have any other information? Nothing else. We're supposed to print all of this. Maybe it's just a simple stuff. What you do is just open the if it is a table like this. Now go to file, print. You can preview, check whether it is okay. You can change the orientation at this point and then print. Select in your right printer from this point. The same applies for queries, forms, and even the uh, reports. Otherwise, this marks the end of our video. And if this is your first time to visit our channel, please subscribe and you'll be updated of the other videos which I'll be post, uh, posting later.